you, Jesus. Hallelujah. How can I say thanks for the things you have done for me? Things so undeserved, yet you came to prove your love to me. The voices of a million angels could not express our gratitude. Father, we just want to say thank you to you. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your bounding love and your mercies towards us. We do not deserve your grace. We do not deserve your mercy. We do not deserve your merited favor. But God, every day, your mercies are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness towards us, Lord. And tonight we are here just to give you praise. Father, be glorified in our worship. Be glorified in our worship tonight. Father, we present ourselves, we present our bodies as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable unto you, which is our reasonable service. As we apply the blood of Jesus to our lives, as we apply the blood of Jesus to our mind and to our hands and to our heart and to our actions, as we apply the blood of Jesus to our attitudes, we pray today, mighty God, that our worship will come to you as a sweet smelling incense. We pray today, mighty God, that our prayers will come to you, Lord God, as an aroma to your nostrils. We pray today, Father, that you will hear our hearts cry today and that you will answer that while we are yet speaking, you will answer and you will show us great and mighty things that we know not of. Have your way in our midst tonight and we pray for your abounding mercy and your love. We give you praise, we give you honor, we give you glory. Be magnified, O oh Lord. Be magnified. And let your glory fill this temple. Let your glory fill this room. Holy Spirit, you are in charge of this hour of prayer and praise. Even in the different homes tune in or wherever they are, logged in today. I pray that every person will experience the presence and the power of the living God. That every home will be ignited by the fire of God. And that there will be an overpour of the Spirit of God in their homes even now. Thank you, Spirit of God. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be honored and praised. Amen and amen. The Lord bless you tonight. Welcome. Thank you for joining us today for our hour of prayer and praise. I give God praise for what he has done. God has been faithful. God has been faithful. To those who are logged in for the very first time, welcome, welcome to New Life Assembly of God. I pray you will be blessed and that the Lord will speak to your heart even through this time of worship. I invite the worship team to come as they lead us in worship at this time. The Lord bless you.
Jerusalem, Lord, that holy city, which, 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 which simply mean the city of peace. And so, Lord, as we come before your presence, Lord, we pray for Jerusalem. Over the years, there will always be war and turmoil, Lord, over that one city to control it. But, Father God, upon your word, we pray this evening for peace upon Jerusalem. Lord, we pray that peace will continue to remain within the walls of Jerusalem in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we pray against every spirit that will want to rise up in 
human beings, Lord, to come to take control of Jerusalem. We pray against every nation, Lord God Almighty, that would want to rise up against Jerusalem. Because your word declares, whoever blessed Israel will be blessed. And whoever cursed Israel will be cursed. And so, Father God, we pray that peace will be upon Jerusalem in an extraordinary way, God Almighty. We pray that, God, the lives that are in Jerusalem will be at peace, Lord God Almighty. The relationship among each other will be a peaceful relationship, Lord God. We pray that peace will continue to reign in Jerusalem. Reign within the borders. Reign within the walls, Lord God Almighty. Reign within the four walls of Jerusalem from the start and to the end, Lord God Almighty. We pray that your, your peace will pour out, Lord, in an extraordinary way upon the holy city. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that your peace will be poured out in such a way, Lord God Almighty, that lives will consider how peaceful this place is. Lord, we pray that your Holy Spirit will arise in the lives of those who are faithfully serving you in Jerusalem at this time. That God, they will share their faith and the peace that is within them, Lord, with the, with, with the, with the lives that are surrounded by them. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, out of your mercy, Lord, out of your grace, pour out peace upon Jerusalem. Let there be peace, Lord God Almighty, within those regions, Lord. Because we know that people always fight for Jerusalem. They're always fighting for the fertility of the land. They're always fighting to take control and gain control over Jerusalem. But Lord, you are the same God who is protecting Israel back then. You are the same God who is protecting Israel now. And so, Father God, we thank you for your peace. We thank you for your peace. We thank you for your peace, Lord God Almighty, that you have already begun to pour out upon Jerusalem. Let your peace remain upon them, Lord. Let your peace remain upon them. Reminding them, Lord, that you are their God. The God of the Jews. The God of the holy city, Jerusalem. Let peace be within the bars. Peace be within their bodies. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Blessed be your name, God. is a good God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Let's just give him some praise. Let's give him some praise. Let's give him some praise. Amen. We declare peace for Jerusalem even now, and that the people of God will experience the power of God. As we continue in our time of prayer, let's sing the song, You Are My Strength, Strength Like No One. As we go to the, our next prayer point, as we lift up before the Lord, prayer for the widows and the orphans. These persons are vulnerable and oftentimes we find that they are neglected or they are even abused. But we pray today for the widows and the orph of orphans. As we lift up the name of Jesus, we invite our sister Darnette to come as she prays. Let's just sing that song. Strength, strength like no.
the God that said that tell the moon when to rise until evening or where to go until evening. Mighty God, we exalt you, we lift you, we magnify your name, we glorify your name. You are the King of kings, you are the Lord of lords. You are the conquering lion from the tribe of Judah. You are soon coming king. You are our strength. You are our comforter. You are our rock. You are our strong tower, mighty God. We give you glory. We give you honor and we give you praise. Mighty God, I lift up the widow and the orphans before you, mighty God. They are vulnerable, mighty God. Father God, they are alone right now, mighty God. But mighty God, you are their comforter. Father God, just as how you provide for Ruth, almighty God, and Naomi, almighty God. When Naomi lost her sons, oh God, and Ruth lost her husband, almighty God. Provide for these widows and orphans, yes. almighty God. Provide for them, Lord God. Be their comforter right now, mighty God. Father God, send someone, almighty God, to provide for them, oh God. Let the peace that passes all understanding, almighty God. God, be their comfort even now, almighty God. Father God, build up their most holy faith, almighty God. Build them up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Wrap your arms around them, almighty God. No weapon that is formed against them shall prosper. And every tongue that rise up against them, mighty God, in judgment they are already condemned. Father God, be, build a hedge of protection around them, almighty God. God. Provide for them in a mighty way, oh Father God. Show up and show off in their midst, oh mighty yes. God. For those who are healing in their bodies, oh mighty God. Let your healing virtue flow through their bodies, oh mighty God. Strengthen them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh God, continue to provide for them. Continue to provide for them, mighty God. Your will be done, oh Father God. Take glory, King Jesus. Ride on, King Jesus, and take glory. Your will be done in and to them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And we tell you thanks for what you're about to do for your widows and your orphan. And we give you glory in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Of your
you, mighty God. We thank you for the wisdom that you give us during this time of uncertainty. We thank you for the knowledge you provide for us because I know, mighty God, many of us are facing challenges mentally, financially, um, technical issues, mighty God. I know we just lean on you because you're the only one we can turn to. Lord, many of us are faced with challenges because we're not sure when the exams will be kept. We're not sure how we'll be able to manage because of stress with studying and mighty God we just ask you to guide us, protect us, mighty God. Give our teachers wisdom in this time. Give all government wisdom in this time, mighty God. Give us the peace that passes all understanding, mighty God, because you're the only source, mighty God. Oh, thank you for just being with us through this journey, mighty God. For many of us this is probably the hardest challenge we face in our life and we can only turn to you because of the source and we thank you for everything you've done. Please guide us and protect us. We thank you for the knowledge that you're giving to everybody right now. Please calm their fears, mighty God. Please calm their minds, mighty God. Help them to focus right now because there are a lot of distractions even in this time. We thank you and just look to you constantly to be a source of true understanding, mighty God. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh Of Nazareth, 
your people to be sensitive to the leading of your spirit and your voice. That when we go to the supermarket and our face come up in our thoughts, our memory, and name God, and we're picking up something, and by your spirit, you lead us to pick up something extra. Help us to be obedient and listen to your voice. Because our act of obedience, our act of compassion, may very well turn somebody's hand away from the chopper, turn somebody back from the bathroom from doing the unthinkable. So God, we find comfort in this scripture in Joshua 1. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened or afraid. Do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So Lord, those who may be unemployed and feeling depressed, help us, help those who are affected at this time to remember how much you provided when there was no job. This is just a season. This is just a phase that will soon pass. Depression is not the solution. Those with the loans and the bills, Lord, help them to move in wisdom and pick up the phone and call these organizations and ask for time. Suicide will not fix it. Lord, help us to be sensitive to your voice to be sensitive to the leading of your Holy Spirit. Jesus. And Lord, help us to be willing, ready and able to be your hands and your feet in the earth realm. Yes. To help somebody to pick up the phone when your spirit leads us to call and say, how oh, you do, how oh, you feeling, you run out my mind. And move quickly in obedience. Depression is real. Suicidal thoughts are real, but your love is stronger. Your promises are sure. And you will never, 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 never abandon us. Your words do not lie. And we hold on to your dear hand and your dear promises in this season. Knowing you will bring us through. We thank you, Lord, for your comforting arms of assurance. We thank you for your peace that surpasses all understanding. And we surrender everything to you and we leave it in your hands, knowing that you've never failed and you've never lost a back. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, give him praise. Hallelujah.
for those of you who have husbands and wives that do not know Jesus as Lord and Savior. We're standing in the gap for them today and we're declaring, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. I invite our brother Lando to come and he'll be praying for those who need Jesus. this afternoon that song oh Lamb of God sweet Lamb of God now wash me in your precious blood oh Lamb of God Jesus oh sweet Lamb of God the one who stepped down from the splendor of heaven to be a lamb for the slaughter, even unto death, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ was obedient. Father, we thank you for the shedding of blood just to save mankind. Father, as I come in your holy awesome present now, God, that same blood I ask to be washed, to be cleansed, to be purged, and to be made whole as I come into your presence in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, I petition your throne of grace this evening on behalf of the sinners for them to obtain salvation. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, your word remind us, God, in Romans 10, 10, that with our hearts we believe unto righteousness but our mouth we confess unto salvation father in the name of jesus christ of nazareth your son god as we place god our unsaved relatives our unsaved friends as we place before you almighty god the people who are in this nation who have not yet come to know you as lord and savior jesus christ Father God, I pray now, God, that they will have a receptive heart. I pray now, God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that they will come to know you right now as Lord and Savior. Father, we know as your word reminds us, God, that there is therefore no repentance to them who are in the grave. So while they have life, while they have health, while they have strength, this is the day of salvation, and they must harden not their heart. Father, I place them before you now, God. Our nation need our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, more than ever. Father God, I pray, God, that you will touch, you will heal, you will deliver, you will save, God, your people from out of the hands of the enemy right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God has said you're going to prepare a place for us. And if you're going to prepare a place for us, you will come back and you will receive us in your sight. Father, you did not make hell for human being. So I pray now, God, that the blood that tripped from your forehead the blood that tripped from your side, the blood that tripped from your hand, the blood that tripped from your feet now, God, will save, deliver, and set free this nation and the world at large in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, I pray that you will rise up a remnant you will rise up a people of God that will not just talk about it, but will be about it. People who have come command to go on the highway and the byway and the hedges to compel the mighty God. Father God, help us to bring in the sheep, God. Help us, God, come rejoicing, God, to bring in the man and woman, mighty God, who are out there that the devil has used him to create havoc, mayhem, and chaos in this nation. Father, we thank you. Romans 5, 8, you have commended your love towards us. That while we were sinners, Christ, you died for us. This evening, dear God, help us as Christians, help us as the believer 
as Romans 1.16 remind us, that we must not be ashamed of the gospel of God. It's a power unto salvation to the Jews first and then to the Gentiles. Father, we know and we believe that there are some modern days Cornelius that need to be saved, that need to be transformed. There are some nowadays Cornelius, mighty God, that have been praying and wanting to wash go to a church, that fellowship, that preach and teach you Jesus Christ. And even now, God, we pray, God, that this church, New Life Assembly of God, that always open up, mighty God, for souls, mighty God. Father God, we humiliate your word and we stand on your word, that this is a house of refuge. So we pray now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that even Sunday coming, God, there be man and woman who are coming here, God, to receive, mighty God, not just a word, but mighty God, to confess that you, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, is Lord. Father, I pray now for the different family that are behind this screen, mighty God, who sit with the other family member from New Life Assembly of God, who have been hearing the word weeks and weeks and weeks now, Lord, and you have been doing something to them, God. You have been removing the heart of stone, God. They're stiff-necked, God. You are no mighty God, removing it, God. And I pray now, God, that those family members, mighty God, will come to know you as Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Father God, we will not cease from praying. We will not cease, mighty God, until we see our whole household, mighty God, our whole community come to know you as Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Just as Joshua said in Joshua 24, 15, who you plan to serve? The gods of your father who are on the other side? I pray that you will stand to declare that you will serve the true and living God. You will stand to say for me and my house must and we will serve the true and living God. Father, I pray now, God, that even as we pray, God, our faith is up, knowing and believing, mighty God, that someone is now leading someone into the prayer of repentance. We are now believing by faith, God, that when we pray, you will hear and you will answer us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we continue to thank you for the man and woman of God who are out there toiling night and day, mighty God, sharing preaching and proclaiming the good news of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Father, we also pray, God, that you will give those different people the discernment of spirit to lead them, God, to the house of worship that you would have want them, God, to assemble and to fellowship, mighty God. Church that stands for holiness. Church that stands for righteousness. Church that will not mislead your people, but church, mighty God, will their lifestyle and their ways will usher in more and more of these people that need you more than ever, Lord. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that as we continue to pray and to believe you for saving our whole entire household, our community, our nation and the world at large. God, we continue to see the fruits of our prayer manifest, mighty God, that people who are out there, mighty God, who the enemy have been robbing them, who have been bound. I pray, God, that the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth will cut them loose, mighty God, from every soul time spirit, from every thing, God, that would want to trap them, mighty God, to live in sin and shame. We come against it now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God, we give you honor, we give you glory, we give you praise, because your will and your way must be done, because the effectual, fervent prayer for a righteous man avail it much. We give you honor, we give you glory and praise, that your will and your way must be done in the unsaved man and woman who are out there. And we sell your thanks in Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Amen. 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 Amen.
Yes, Lord. We thank you for the reign of your spirit upon our lives. We thank you that you heard our prayers and that you were attentive to our voices today. We declare, Lord, that your power will fall and that your voice will be heard. That we will stand on the word of God. That we will experience the rain and the move of the Spirit of God. In Jesus' name, everybody declare, Amen. Let your power fall. Let your voice change of curfew hours we will be having a change of our service times and I want you to listen carefully those with surnames or last name A to L you will come to church at 8 o'clock and we will leave at 9 so like oh, my surname is Burton I'm allowed to come first service and so I will be here from 8 o'clock to nine o'clock, we will have service for one hour. Then we will allow for the sanitization of the building. And then like how my surname is now Rob Burton, which falls from M to Z, so I'm allowed to. <laughs> uh, all right, so those with surnames M to Z, you will come to church at 10 o'clock, not 11, because at 11, we'll be saying amen. You come to church at 10 o'clock. So A to L, 8 to 9 o'clock, and L, M to Z. Your last name is from M to Z. You will come to church at 10 o'clock in the morning, which will be for one hour to allow persons who are living out of town very far to get home in time before curfew hour. Listen, if it's an hour, we're going to go hard in the one hour and worship Jesus. Amen. So we come with a spirit of expectancy. We come expecting the Lord to pour out upon us and that our hearts will be blessed and that the spirit of the Lord will speak to us either through the worship or through the word that the Lord will be present with us. And so it's 8 to 9 with last names A to L and 10 to 11 with last names M to Z. Please remember that you are required to wear a mask. Though we have not seen each other for a long time, we are not allowed to hug and greet each other with a holy kiss. We are allowed to give a high five, Wi-Fi, bless up. All right? A high five, Wi-Fi, bless up. That's what we will be doing. And so, a wireless bless up. And so we will be doing that until things change. We ask that if you come to the first service, you are not allowed to stay for the second. As soon as the first service is complete, we ask that you will leave so that our, um, our ushers and our team members will be able to sanitize the building for the other set of persons coming in. I just want to just give God thanks for our support team, our elders, and our heads of department, 
and our ushers and the HNC team that did a wonderful job last week. And we give God praise for all of you who came and you cooperated. And we're expecting no less this Sunday as we come together to lift up the name of the Lord. I'm expecting the move of God. I'm expecting for God to show up in his power and his might and for his train to fill this temple. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and to be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and grant you his peace. Now and until Jesus comes, everybody say amen. Please spread the word around and we have it on our WhatsApp groups. Please share with others as we expect the move of God this Sunday. Bless you everybody. See you again Sunday morning at 8 o'clock. Russia team, take us out. Mm -hmm.